Rich and Alex here with us. Um, obviously, congratulations to Kansas on the win and uh, obviously the Big 12 championship. Obviously, we're excited, excited about that. So, obviously, great program and uh, you know, well coached and seniors and and uh, just uh, just uh, responded to our lead in the second half and and uh, put us away. So, uh, sign of a veteran team and a good team. So, uh, give them credit. Obviously, the rebounds. We're all we talked about going into the game. We're up eight, uh, plus eight in the first half, and then get out rebound in the second half by 15. So it's pretty simple. And uh, they seem to get every loose ball, long rebound, deflection, uh, second half of the game. And that's where it got away from us. So this, uh, you know, I mean, I, I liked how we played in the first half. I'm, you know, and obviously you got to play real well here. Good team on the road, uh, their place. But uh, at this point, how we played the last 10 minutes or so. Um, just uh, let let other things affect us. Miss shots, layups. I think we fin miss some layups, and uh, they finish and just uh, built on momentum. So uh, I thought we really fought and executed well the first uh, 25 minutes or so. But uh, uh, once it got away from us, disappointing. But a lot of them had to do with them. <clears throat> so congratulations, and uh, we got to get ready for West Virginia on Saturday. Jamie, how big was that uh, stretch there? You had this two-point game. You got the dunk by uh, Jackson and then uh, it gets the crowd involved again and then you have uh, uh, Mason with a breakaway. It seemed like that really brought the crowd into it after you kind of Yeah, I don't, it went out on the crowd, but I mean, it's just, you just don't make play. We missed layups and, uh, you know, we went a little soft on some finishes and, and uh, you don't make them. You, 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 they, you miss layups turn into baskets the other way oftentimes and that's what happened, I thought. So, I mean, whatever the reason, it was a couple plays, but, uh, <coughs> I was disappointed and, uh, and how we responded uh, given those circumstances. So, um, you know, it's something we got to grow and get better for. And, uh, you know, right now we've lost a few games in a row and, and uh, you know, we didn't handle it well. So um, that's on a shot selection, caused a couple of them. Um, but uh, I think it was mainly finishes, baskets, shots we needed to take, but we didn't finish. And like I said, layups can oftentimes, or corner jump shots, can often turn some transition uh, baskets when you miss them. <laughs> Mentally, what's the concern? Whether you know, you, four yeah. four in a row is long. Right. Is your longest streak? Yeah, you no. Broke we, it the last time you got to this point, but you know. Yeah, no. We it's uh, you know again I, at this point here. I mean, there's no question about the biggest game of the year is it for us on the Saturday. I mean, there's, there's uh, no other way to put it. You know, we hide about it, not make it you know make it smaller than it is. It's the biggest game of the year. You know, we're. Uh, uh, a bubble team that lost four in a row, so uh, we played ourselves onto the bubble. We were pretty well in, but you know we, we lost at Baylor, at Iowa State, and at Kansas. So you know, I mean, uh, we we uh, we're not we're not we're not ready. Uh, uh, I thought we were, but we're not ready to beat the uh, beat those teams on the road uh, uh, the way we play uh, for periods of time. We do well in stretches, but uh, again, this is a good team that made the plays and. We did, but it really came down to finishing plays around the basket that they made, and we did. And uh, so there, there's no there's, there's no hiding from it. We got to we got to go play on Saturday, one o'clock Saturday, and uh, uh, this 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 can count as one loss and one loss only. Coach, where would Frank Mason be playing here for you? I mean, you know, we don't see everybody in the country, but, uh, you know, this, they're, they're number one of the top teams in the country. He's averaging a bunch of points, and he's a point guard. And so that's usually the guy. He's, he's really good. And, and I watched him in high school, and uh, it was about seven years ago, I think, <laughs> but literally. Um, so, you know, he signed with Towson, uh, my former assistant, so I remember watching him with him. So, uh, you know, he's... Uh, uh, the, other, the other thing is, uh, um, you know, he would have been a great player at Towson because he really got really coached. But he got came to this place, he got really, really coached and, and gotten better uh, every time, uh, every year. So um, that's a that's a bad combination for opponents in the Big 12. A uh, good player that's gotten better each year. Foul trouble kept Jackson pretty quiet at your place. But what have you seen from him? Uh, well, we had some foul trouble ourselves here. Um, you know, I think you know the, the interesting thing about that game was that uh, um, Vic played more because of it, and he had the big game. So it's just like a lot of good players. You know, I mean, it's uh, um, you know Vic went for 17 against us uh, in that game because he played so much. So uh, Jackson had 15, and uh, you know, I mean, he's you know driving, you know, and the rebounds. But uh, um, you know, that's uh, he's six for 11. You know, but uh, um, you know, really, uh, 
the guards hurt us, and uh, uh, Brad was big. You know, and again, Brad coming off the bench and giving them uh, those, those, those points was, was big. Alex, what's the uh, mood coming up, you know, in Kenridge, too, if you want to jump in? Just, you know, with, with four in a row, with having the game kind of in flux and then kind of, as Coach was saying, letting it get away from you there the last 10 minutes, so decisively. So basically, like Coach said, uh, we're going to stick together and and work this work this thing through. Saturday is our biggest game, so right now that's our focus from here on. Kenridge, what about you? Yeah, we just got to stay together. Um, Come practice and uh, compete hard and get ready for Saturday. Any other questions? Yeah, Coach, you talked about the Did they do anything that took you guys out of it or caused you to kind of you know, your composure to wane down the stretch or just them being a heck of a team playing at home? Anything, anything more than that from your standpoint, guys? No, I just feel like they're a pretty good team. and. Uh, uh, like Coach said, they got on a little run in the second half, and we didn't respond the way we were supposed to. Coach, you were able to get Landon to look at some foul trouble, but like you mentioned, Carlton had a pretty good game. How dangerous can KU be if he produces a double? Well, I mean, you know, you can only play so many guys. When Lucas plays 17, you know, they just got a lot of players. So I mean, there's, there's no secret. I mean, so you see Coley coming in, he, he looks like a monster. The one play he's in. So, so I mean, they got a lot of good players. I mean, there's, you know, everybody in the country wanted Colby, everybody in the country wanted Whitefoot, and they don't even play. They got a lot of good players. And, uh, you know, they, they uh, um, you know, they, they, they're, they're good. Um, but, you know, they, we, we had our opportunities, and, uh, you got to respond. Give them credit for uh, withstanding our, or making us some shots early in the first half, and uh, uh, obviously we won of eight in the second half from three. So those are major difference makers for us. Um, you know, shot 37 percent from the field. So um, you know, I mean, uh, Bragg's, you know, he's no secret. I mean, he, uh, you know, he was a top ten player in the country. So I mean, those guys are usually pretty good. Um, but uh, they got a lot of guys, and uh, and, uh, and obviously well coached at the same. Time. Thank you guys. Thanks, Jimmy.